judge every man according to their works. Mm. And death and hell were cast into the lake of fire. This is the second death. Mm -hmm. Woo! You get to die twice. So even when you go to hell, you're going to be called up to heaven to be judged again, to be thrown into the lake of fire. Good God Almighty, a second death. And that's a spiritual. Verse 15. And whosoever was not found written in the book of life was cast into the lake of fire. Is your name written in that book? If you haven't accepted Jesus Christ, your name is not written in that book. Boy, it's quiet. <laughs> Ooh, Jesus. I want my name written in the book. Amen. This is the white throne of judgment. This is not a judgment for believers. All the unsaved from Adam all the way to the end of the age will be there. God will determine what degree of punishment they will receive according to their works. There are degrees of punishment in hell. Hello. Then God is going to take the department of hell and throw it into a bigger fire. Ain't that deep? So you're going to go into hell, then he's going to throw you into the lake of fire, then you're going to take that and throw it into a bigger hell. Now y'all say Satan is going there, but Satan ain't going there. That place was designed for Satan, but God will take Satan and throw him into the abyss. You know what the abyss is? Abyss means he falls and never stops. Mm -hmm. Have you ever had a dream and you were falling and you were just the way in the That's what the abyss is like. You just keep falling and falling and falling and falling. I don't know whether falling and falling is better than being burned. I don't know. But constantly being in a lake that just burns. It's a second death. For eternity, people. And you feel it. You feel it. Amen. Go to Revelation 14. Well, we can hear a pin drop again tonight. I'm glad. I hope you listen. Revelation 14, verse 9. And the third angel followed them, saying with a loud voice, If any man worship the beast and his image and receive his mark in his forehead or in his hand, hmm, the same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of God, or the anger of God, which is poured out without mixture into the cup of indignation. And he shall be tormented with fire and brimstone in the presence of the holy angels and the presence of the Lamb. Oh my goodness. Keep reading. Verse 11. And the smoke of their torment ascended up forever and ever, and they have no rest day or night who worship the beast in his image, and whosoever received the mark of his name. And we're headed there now. You know, credit cards and all that stuff was a prelude to. How do you take the mark? By accepting Satan. Satan, you know, and during the tribulation time, you get too deep. You know, if I was, it's called Left Behind. You ever see that movie called Left Behind? Whoever's Left Behind get a second opportunity to accept Jesus. I hope I don't be here. I hope I get raptured in the first part. Amen. But you will get a second opportunity if you left here during the tribulation. But Satan's going to come to you and say, accept me or accept Jesus. And if you say, I accept Jesus, he's going to literally cut your head off. No, literally cut your head off. Or you're going to take his mark in your, in your head or your hand. And you're going to serve him and then you're going to go to hell. But you will get a second opportunity. Even Jews going to get a second opportunity to accept Jesus. Amen? I don't want to get too heavy in eschatology because eschatology is the teaching of end times. I just want you to recognize what hell is going to be like. And to make a choice that you don't want to go there. Amen? God will cause these people to live forever and feel it. They will never die in this torture, but cry out for death. Couldn't you imagine that? You will want to die, but you can't. Jesus. Matthew 22. Matthew 22. We just started. <laughs> Matthew 22. I guess you can tell the pastor who teach on hell. <laughs> Matthew 22. Let's look at verse 13 and 14 of Matthew 22. For many are called, but few are chosen. For many are called, but few are chosen. Then went the Pharisees and took counsel how they might entangle him 
in his talk. Amen. Somebody will always try to come up and try to screw you up. But many are called, but few are choosing. Are you one of those many that's been called? You know. It's just a conscious choice. Why? Because there will be weeping and crying out and yelling and gnashing of teeth. Jesus even told you that. Amen. Let's go to Matthew 8. I ain't going to try to talk too much. I want the scripture to speak to them for themselves. Are they speaking to you? Is anybody getting ministered to by the word itself? Amen. Matthew 8, verse 11 and 12. Matthew 8, verse 11 and 12 says, And I say unto you, that many shall come from the east and from the west, and shall sit down with Abraham and Isaac and Jacob in the kingdom of heaven. But the children of the kingdom shall be cast out into outer darkness. There shall be what? Weeping and gnashing of teeth. Why me, Lord? I did my best. I don't deserve. I was a good person. A lot of good people are going to hell. I didn't do nobody no wrong. I gave the people. I helped people. I'm still going to hell. There's a lot of good people who never did nothing wrong. You would have to fulfill all the Ten Commandments and never failed in order to get to heaven without accepting you. He would have never came if you were capable of doing that. He's the only one who was ever able to do that. So people, even... <laughs> Even when he got talked to the rich man, and the rich boy, and he said, Lord, what must I do to uh, inherit the kingdom of God? And Jesus said, go sell everything, and then come serve me. What was he serving? He couldn't do it. He said, he lied, he said he kept all the law from his birth. No, he didn't. Only one who do that was Jesus. But what did he love more? That morning. That morning. Amen. There will be weeping national team. Let's go to Luke. Chapter 16, we're going to look at an allegory now. Now, you need to know the difference between an allegory and a parable. A parable would tell a story, and Jesus yeah. might say, there was a father and he had two sons, but there was no name mentioned, right? There was no name mentioned, that means it's a parable. But whenever there are names mentioned, it's an allegory. Okay? And it's a literal truth. So the difference between a parable and an allegory is names are mentioned in an allegory, and in a parable, names are not mentioned. Got me? Okay. So this is one of the famous ones called Luke 16. We're going to look at the rich man of Lazarus. Luke 16. Now hopefully the Lord will help me convey this really nice. Starting at verse 19. Luke 16 starting at 19. There was a certain rich man which was clothed in purple and fine linen, meaning he had money. Because you had on purple, you had some money. And fared sumptuously every day. And there was a certain beggar named Lazarus. Now there's the name. That means it's an allegory. And it's a definite truth. Okay, Jesus is getting ready to give you an illustration of what hell is really like, right? Through this, through this allegory. And there was a certain beggar named Lazarus, which was laid at his gate full of sores, hmm, and desiring to be fed with the crumbs which fell from the rich man's table. Moreover, the dogs came and licked his sores. And it came to pass that the beggar died and was carried by the angels into Abraham's bosom. The rich man also died and was buried. And in hell, hello, and in hell, it didn't say it was a pause. As soon as he died, where he opened up his eyes at? In hell. And in hell, <laughs> he lifted up his eyes, being in torments, and see of Abraham afar off and Lazarus in his bosom. And he cried and said, Father Abraham, have mercy on me, and send Lazarus that he may dip the tip of his finger in water and cool my tongue. For I am tormented in this flame. Y'all see that? Mm. He's burning up. Verse 25. But Abraham said, Son, remember that thou in thy lifetime receiveth thy good things, and likewise Lazarus evil things. But now he is comforted. Praise him. And thou art what? Tormented. And besides all this, between us and you, there is a great gulf fix. Now let me explain that. There is a great gulf fix. Let's finish reading. So that they which would pass from hence to you cannot, neither can they pass, pass to us that would come from there. What is this great gulf fix? See, anybody that goes to hell, they can see everybody walking in hell. 
Uh, Y'all ain't hearing me. Did it say you saw Abraham? Yes. Abraham was a Edom on uh, heaven there. Now, he last was in his bosom, but you know last you couldn't see that rich man down Because of the great low fix. So that means if you're in hell, you get to see all those people who told you about Jesus. Walking on the streets of gold. And you're like, no, nah, I ain't even seen them yet. I ain't ready yet. No, I'm not going to know. I got to stop sinning first. I got to stop holding. I got to stop getting high first. Jesus ain't never told you that. So you see all your family members walking on the streets of gold. Because the streets of gold are transparent streets. So you get to see them through this gold fix. But you can't go there. Now watch this. The people in heaven can't see you. You know why? Because God said once you get to heaven, there's no more pain. There's no more sorrow. There's no more weeping. There's no more crying. There's no more sickness. If you were to be able to walk in heaven and look down and see your mama and daddy murdered, wouldn't you want to cry? Wouldn't you want to have pain? God ain't going to allow you to have that pain. Because everybody wants you to have your way to become your brothers and sisters. They're not your parents no more. I mean, you can still acknowledge them that way. But God is not going to allow you to hurt like that. But they get to see what they reject. Oh, my God. Can you just give me, make them give me some water? Can you just tell them? No, you had your opportunity just like they did. It's over. It ain't no getting out. Once there, it's done. Hello. Hope y'all are here. Let's keep reading. Verse 27. Then he said, I pray thee therefore, Father, that thou wouldest send him to my father's house. Now he's asking, oh, I know this thing is real. Can you go send him to my family and tell them? Mm, verse 28. For I have five brothers, that he may testify unto them, lest they also come into this place of torment. Don't tell my family about hell. Once you go to heaven, you don't want to come back. You know, I know I don't. I know. Verse 29. Abraham said unto him, they have Moses and the prophets. Let them hear them. They had enough teaching. They had enough preaching. They had the same thing these people had up here that you had to understand. I ain't sending nobody back. Verse 30. And he said, no, Father, Abraham. But if one went unto them from the dead, they will repent. And he said unto, the, unto him, if they hear not Moses and the prophets, neither will they be persuaded though one rose from the dead. Now, so, mm -hmm. Jesus. <laughs> they ain't even going to change your mind when you about Jesus rose from the dead. Yes. Who do you need to go back and tell? It's say. You have an opportunity now while you walk to earth with your family and tell them, you know what? I, I finally came to the truth. You know, I want to get out of my condition. I want to let y'all know I don't, I don't hear so much word. I think I'm going to just get some food and I hear so many things about Jesus. I hear so many things about heaven. I hear so many things about hell. I don't want to go to hell. You think you are here by accident? I don't believe in good luck. I don't believe in coincidence. You were predestined before the foundations of the world to be in this room at this minute, at this hour, to hear this message. So that what? When you finally die and go for judgment and you talk about, Lord, I didn't know he would tell you a lie. There was a little old black man down there who told you everything. There was a little white old man named Rosado who told you everything. There was a big old guy named Ron who told you everything. But did you receive it? So don't come up here with excuses. You are now without excuse. Amen. Amen. You should have went to the Salvation Army and got something to Might not have heard the truth there. I don't know. But when you come in here, you get truth. Amen. Amen. You sure do. The rich man of Lazarus, Abraham's bosom, is a Hebrew metaphor for paradise. When an unsaved person dies, they go to hell immediately. Did you hear what I said? When an unsaved person dies, they immediately, what did it say? He died and woke up where? In hell. Amen. All right. This place is called Hades in the New Testament, corresponding to Sheol. In the Old Testament. So in the Old Testament it was called Sheol. And in the New Testament it's called Hades. Let's go to Psalm 1610. Psalm 1610. So that you have a reference there. Psalm 1610 said, 
For thou wilt not leave my soul in where? Hell, that shield in the heat. Neither will thou suffer thy holy one to see what? Corruption. But God don't want to leave your soul in hell. What did God say about David? He's a man after my own heart. But David, David committed murder. He committed adultery. He did every sin. But David knew how to repent. Do you? Amen. David knew how to ask for God's mercy. Do you? Yeah. Amen. But that's why God said he's a man after my own heart. Because he knew how to get real with God. He knew how to ask God for forgiveness. Amen. So that's shield. This is where the blessed dead in periods preceding the ascension of Christ was held, or the grave. In the Greek, the place of the unsaved. Now, what is the place of the unsaved? Remember the thief on the cross who said, Jesus told him, this day you will be in paradise with me? That's what's called the place of the unsaved. He wasn't in hell and he wasn't in heaven. You know, I think in the Catholic Church they call it purgatory. You ever heard that term? They ain't there no more. Ain't no such thing. You can't pray for the dead. Amen? So when Jesus came, he got rid of that. It ain't no more place called paradise.